Well, good evening, everybody. This is WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope you all having a good evening so far. We are still under an air quality alert through tomorrow night at midnight. Even though we, most of that air smoke has moved out of our area and we're pretty much mostly clear right now. We also, the biggest focus I wanted to talk about is the rain chances for tomorrow and Friday because some of these could be potentially pretty strong at that. It could possibly put us under a marginal risk of severe weather. I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a second. But first, we got to go back to this air quality alert. And it's going to be in effect until midnight tomorrow night. And again, with people who have respiratory issues such as asthma or sinuses and breathing issues could be affected by this. So again, I would recommend just waiting out one more day before you start doing your outdoor activities. Yes, the holiday weekend is coming up, but it's important to stay safe as well out there along with that. Make sure that we're not breathing in any toxic air that could affect us and our respiratory issues. High temperature today got us to 76 degrees. Normal high is 79. Record high 98. Now occurred back in 1971. Now it still could get cold for this time of the year. 32 is our record low. Now occurred back in 1925. Now the winds are going to also be a factor as well. Not as big as it was yesterday, but still a factor. Wind gusts could get up to as high as 15, close to 20 miles an hour at times tomorrow. Again, those winds are going to be coming out of the southeast, which is definitely good news. It's going to blow out the remainder of the smoke that's in the atmosphere that came from Canada and those wild Fires. Now, I ain't gonna time out this rain because some of these rain showers could be potentially strong. You will see that here on my future cast. So you see that we have these on and off rain showers. Some of these with these yellows and orange and reds could be potentially strong. The biggest threat with some of these is gonna be some brief gusty winds, even some small hail along with some of these uh, thunderstorms. The worst of it is gonna be to our south, but we can't rule out any coming into the northern parts of the Michigan as well and affecting our viewing area as well. So something I'll definitely will be watching as we go through the next 24 hours or so. You see the biggest chance is gonna be Thursday night and to Friday, even some on our Saturday as well. Now tonight we're gonna to see a partly cloudy skies. Lows are gonna be in the upper 50s, even some lower 60s, Taiwan 60 degrees. Winds are out of the southeast, which is definitely good news of blowing those winds out, uh, those smoke out of our area. Out of the southeast, it's going to be at five miles an hour. Tomorrow, we're going to see those showers in the afternoon hours. Again, some of these could potentially be strong. Highs are going to be in the upper 70s and some low 80s in Long Inland. Southeast winds are 10 to 15 miles an hour. We see that here on my seven day forecast. I'm going to forecast 80 for your day tomorrow. but. We are going to have those shower and thunderstorm chances again. Some of these could be quite strong in some areas Sunday as well. But the good news is uh, even with these showers and thunderstorm chances, the drought monitor is something that we're going to be watching. Of course, it gets updated for our day tomorrow, and we're going to see it has been improved a little bit since we have had some showers and some storms in our area. Well, this has been WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope you all have a great evening.